Hi, I'm Andy, and in today's video, we're tightening up the laces on our sneakers because we're headed to the roof to clean the chimney. So it's September 19th. We just had our first frost last night, and it's getting chilly out, uh, reaching down to the 30s at night, barely reaching 50s a day now. So um, time to start thinking about heating with the wood stove, which means it's uh, time to clean the chimney and give it a little inspection before we fire it up. Make sure uh, it's in good shape and there's nothing wrong with it and there's nothing uh, stuck inside. I've got a good chimney cap, so that shouldn't be a problem, but uh, it's always good to do a good inspection. And um, cleaning my own chimney because um, I'm frugal, I'm capable, I'm young enough to get on the roof, uh, so I'm gonna do that. Today I'm using a brush that fits the flue of my chimney. When you have a brick chimney, you can use metal bristles if you have a stainless chimney, you should use the poly bristle brushes. But uh, first thing you do is you screw the screw all these rods together, and then send it to the roof. Next step after screwing all those rods together is to get it propped up where I can reach it from the roof. Welcome to the roof. I'm on the roof. Today, first step in cleaning the chimney is to take this cap off. Now this chimney cap is a really nice one that I picked up uh, just installed a year ago. I started with the cheapo $80 steel ones and they did not, well, they stayed on, but I knew they weren't gonna with the winds we get. So. I uh, decided to upgrade. I wish I had spent the money up front, but we were building the house and it was, um, it was gonna be pushing our budget and we thought, well, that's something we can upgrade later. So um, this is a really nice full stainless chimney cap. It is screwed into the top of the chimney here. And again, like I said, all stainless. You can see it's got stainless hardware, got wing nuts here. So you can take it off without dropping a wrench or anything, which makes it super convenient for cleaning. It's the first time I've cleaned uh, the chimney with this cap on. I cleaned it once last year. We've been in the house two years now. Um, and so far, it looks good. No dents, no dings, no rust. As long as I don't drop the wing nuts, we'll be all set. And I can feel there's and creosote underneath, so I'll put the gloves on. Not too bad, considering. Full year, full season on it. Very little creosote buildup right on the roof of the chimney. I'd say that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Okay, so I. While I'm up here, I'm going to inspect the rest of the chimney, make sure there's no cracks in the top here where water could get in and crack the chimney. That's part of the reason why the big cap that overhangs the whole top of the chimney, because uh, this cap was installed and it had already had a couple cracks in it. Now, I don't know if that was partly because it was installed in January, uh, so maybe it didn't cure right, whatever. So last season, I kind of scraped off the loose stuff and then use some fiberglass um, cement type stuff to kind of reglaze the top. And that seems to be holding up really well. And in combination with that and the nice big cap, it keeps the water and rain and snow and everything off the chimney. So hopefully that's gonna keep this as a, a long-term investment. I don't ever want to replace the chimney. Uh, that's pretty significant. And um, I want it to outlive me and, and 
should last as long as the rest of the house. Looking at this, there's just a little bit of creosote uh, along the edges up top here. Not sticky, it's crispy. Um, and the wire brush, I think, will just scrape this off. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Hit it with the wire brush just to take off some of the loose flaky stuff. It's not like causing a problem, but um, we, we wanna make sure this screen stays open to let the smoke come out and not plug up or cause any restrictions. We have a two flue chimney. One side was originally gonna be for an oil furnace and then the other side for our two wood stoves. But uh, then we changed our mind and decided not to go with an oil furnace and to go with a just direct vent uh, on the wall on demand propane unit. So that one didn't even use the chimney. So we kind of have an overbuilt chimney for our house, but that's okay, I suppose. Eventually I'll probably put the second wood stove from the basement plugged into the other flue just to um, spread and share the wealth a little bit. So here I got the brush up here. I stuck the, the lightweight end up on the roof from the ground and then I was able to go down and grab it and hoist it up. And now I gotta get this into the flue and start, uh, start passing it down and just keep threading it all the way till it hits the bottom. There, all the way. Now I can feel when it kind of gets caught a little bit, that's where the thimble is of where the wood stove, stove pipe connects. So uh, that's kind of where I know where I am in the house. And then there's really nothing to this. All you're taking is a wire brush to the sides of the inside of the chimney just to loosen up any uh, creosote. So that's what I'm doing here. Just gonna pass this up and down several times until and scratched up and I'll go up and down a little bit more in the middle where I know it's right where the stove pipe is because that's where the mo it's most concentrated and built up. Got my wire brush so I can just do a little hand touching up here. Looking closely, there is a fair amount of buildup on the screen, so it's good I'm doing this and something I'll touch up annually for sure. If you've never been on a roof before, this is not the video to get you started with that. But if you're comfortable on roofs and being careful on them and doing some projects like this on your own, save a couple hundred dollars, it's not a bad one to learn if you're gonna be a homeowner. Wire brushing the screen, the surface here, I'll wire brush this. We've wire brushed up and down the flue and uh, just gonna kind of dust it off and uh, kick some of the loose stuff down the chimney because I can clean that out down there and I don't want to necessarily get it all over my shingles. Um, other than that, so far so good and uh, this project's almost done. I think I'm done with this. There, we're done on the roof. Went fine. 
It is tiring running that brush up and down the chimney, but uh, price is right. So I did a pretty good job about scraping the loose stuff off with the wire brush. I do have a wire brush on a drill that I think I'll probably use next year. Next year I'll probably also grab a mask. There was a breeze today, so it wasn't too bad, but uh, that dust is, it was flying in my face. Get those tight. I do like that these are wing nuts, so I don't need to bring a wrench up with me. Wonderful idea. Next, I'll go down to the basement, scoop out all the old creosote, remove the stove pipe, make sure that's all scraped out and ready to go, and inspect the stove before we light up for the season. So, there's that little portion there. We are all set on the roof. So now we're down to the basement, and this is the clean out door of the chimney. Now if I was going to light this stove up in the basement, obviously all this stuff would not be here. That was way too close um, for a fire. But, uh, so here's the clean out and you just open it up and then we can shovel out all the creosote that we just scraped loose. And uh, that's what I'm going to do and then uh, I can hit it with a shop back too and really suck, at, suck out all the extra crumbs. there you have it. We can now cross clean chimney off the fall to-do list. I don't even think it made the list just in my head, but uh, that, all there really is to it is brush it out, inspect it for cracks, and clean out the bottom. It's uh, just a simple homeowner task. So that's all for that project, and now we're on to the next one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.